Uh, okay. I'm Dr. Shweta Ramani from the Department of Anesthesiology. I'm an associate professor working here at SRM for the past nine years. And uh, yeah, uh, coming to the key points, three key points that I have to take from this workshop, I really have to admit that I have to take not more than three key points. Um, when I came to the workshop, I thought it's about uh, health of the body alone. That's what uh, we normally, as doctors, we advise. But then, uh, after coming to the workshop, it's a lot more than that. As the name suggests, it's a holistic health. The workshop uh, included health in all possible forms, not just medicine, not from the doctor's perspective, but then in every aspect, the health, which was mind-blowing. For the then personally, I have to narrow it down to the three key points. Um, being in the medical fraternity for so long, the doctors are the poor patients. We don't take care of our own health. We never get time to eat. We never get time to sleep. We never bother to look into our health until the health is, you know, um, health is hurt or hit in some point somewhere around 40 years of age. Every doctor realizes that we have to stay back and then slow down and then look what is happening to our health. We advise every possible good habits about the food, sleep, water, everything, only to the pa patients. We never bother to follow it in our life. But then, uh, as I said, uh, I'm in the 40s now, and the health uh, hits you badly. And then uh, every doctor, uh, starts to look into our own cells and then take, uh, um, you know, steps for a good, healthy life. Uh, never, uh, personally, I never uh, used to have breakfast regularly. And from the workshop, I think uh, I'll be taking the breakfast, planning to take the breakfast. And then, usually my lunch time will be after my operation theater ends which will be sometime 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6, 7, 8. Till then, you know, I never used to have food outside. So I prefer to have home-cooked food. So I prefer to go back after my OT time and then go to lunch at whatever time I reach home. So from this workshop, I'm planning to carry a lunch bag. Let's see. So I'm going to have it uh, sometime between uh, 1 to 2. And many doctors started doing it. See, we can uh, visibly see many doctors carrying the lunch bag, the ones above 40 years, right, for sure. As medical student, we never bother to take care of our health. But uh, yeah, food is one thing. And then uh, the other key point is, I still have to work a lot on self, health for the self. Uh, there is something uh, that, you know, Madam was discussing so much about the health for the self, which is a great challenge uh, to have the right feeling and right understanding at every time, which is a real challenge. And uh, I really have to work on it is my second key point for from this workshop. And then the third one is other new perspective for the health, health that I learned from this workshop is, you know, it just not stops, the health doesn't stop with your family or to the society. It has to extend into the environment, which we rarely bother to look into it, right? So mm, I have a small uh, balcony garden in it. As Alvin sir was uh, inspiring, you know, uh, I'm going to grow some uh, vegetables. Till then I have tulasi, then uh, aloe vera, and then some other uh, herbs. But then I'm planning to have some uh, vegetable plants, grow some uh, fruits as well, inspired by Alvin sir. And those are the three key points from this workshop that I would take personally, but then I have to thank a lot more people, each and every one of you. I have learned a lot from each and every one of you. To name a few from Venkatesh sir, uh, you know how, uh, you know, you can rear uh, cows in our homes and then uh, 
the you know the good week that we have and uh, from madam how to have a smile after undergoing so much of uh, medical illness personally you still smile and you have so much of positive energy something that we have to have a right feeling and understanding for the self am i taking more time okay. and there used to be another madam here yesterday or on sunday i believe and she is uh, the uh, the manager or someone she said she lost her husband recently the one with the two kids right so but then uh, she also said that was her uh, sunday was a marriage day then i said uh, congratulations so happy married life or you know so much a positive energy from a, another women i can connect or relate you know so much of right feeling and understanding towards life that i learned from you madam and then the other madam the, on sunday and then you have to learn a lot more from your your uh, you know your colleagues your friends from every person you know there is a chance to learn a lot from angsters or to the see from seniors just that you know you make an attempt to know or strike the conversation with them know and then learn from them what your lacking is much more and for the third point holistic human health this is such a great uh, workshop i personally think it has to be taught to the school children it has to start from the school children and they are very very intelligent and smart enough because they are already there to so my younger son i am teaching this nitrogen cycle that is happening in the nature how the trees that today madam was telling the trees give us so much when they die also they give so much to the soil they replace the nitrogen that is taken out for the production of fruits and vegetables they send it back to the soil so and i, I also teach the water cycle i read the water cycle to the child they are already there just that you know they have to have teachers like uh, madam and sir to take and see how it is all linked together with us personally from the environment or the, the curriculum is very much enriched maybe we all learned but then we forgot over time and now uh, you know as a mother i am teaching my son i know that they read so much about nature and environment so this workshop has to just link all the connections and then how it is related to us that the simple uh, thing that has to be done and it has to be done at the school level and at every level but then you know school children it is it's better that we start there also that's it thank you so much for listening